Hello everyone, welcome to my session. Today I'm going to talk about NGIS Risk Five Process IP for data intensive computation. This is Charlie Su, CTO and President of NGIS Technology, currently Vice Chair of Risk Five TSC. This is today's agenda. First, I will talk about the rising demand for Risk Five processor and give a quick overview of NDIS RISC-5 processor offering. And I will use that as an example to illustrate RISC-5 P and V extension and how they can be used for data processing. And also uh, NDIS custom extension and how they can be, can be used to achieve ultimate acceleration. Then I'll give a summary. In this technology, we are a 16 years old pure play CPU IP vendor. We went public four years ago. We are a RISC V founding and premium member. We play various active roles in RISC V International, including RISC V ambassador, task group chairs, TSC vice chair, and director of the board. And this is an active contributor for open source software as well as this five standard spec. Our headquarter is in Shinju and with office worldwide. Here are some quick numbers. And this member together has over 100 years experience in the Silicon Valley for the processor. And our architecture and the star has three generation before we adapt this five as a basis for our V5. And so far, V5 has over 200 licenses. And our NDSign ID installation is over 20,000. By the end of last year, total shipment of NDS embedded SOC has surpassed 7 billion. And just last year alone, our customers shipped over 2 billion chips. The rising demand of RIS5. <coughs> In Andes, we have a customer uh, using our processor or across the board. In mobile space, our customer using our processor for connectivity, such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and touch, and sensor hub. <laughs> In IoT MCU, Renesis are using our processor to design their innovative SSP MCU, and Telink using D25F to design audio, wearable, and IoT chips. In the AI space, SK Telecom using our scalar processor to power their high performance AI. And we have quite a few customers using multiple instances of our vector processor to design optimized AI accelerator for data center. In 5G space, we have customers using different core with a different approach, but all address for small cell based station. And in storage, uh, we are customers using multiple of our core for consumer storage, as well as enterprise SSD. Next, let's look at the accelerated market. <coughs> According to ARC Investment Management, data center will be reinvented in the coming decade. They do a research on data center, server revenue, uh, compound annual growth rate. So for the main CPU, it will be minus 1% CAGR. That is a bit surprising. While storage, memory, and others, about 3% each. And accelerator has a very good 21% percent or from 6 billion to grow almost 7x to 41 billion. Accelerator here is to perform AI, analytics, drugs discovery, cloud gaming, and so on. So there's a lot of space to use risk five. We believe the similar trend would happen in the edge as well, as most edge SOC would need to process more data to catch up the application need. So let's see how RISC-V ISA help. 
So baseline, the baseline ISA, we have IMAC and FD for control processing. And there are extensions for control code as well, like bit is ongoing, like bit manipulation and cosine reduction. And there are extensions for security crypto instruction. <clears throat> and there are P extension, V extension, and custom extension. They are for general purpose data processing acceleration. P extension is based on existing integer register file and target for application, such as sensor, audio voice, and small image, and slow video. <clears throat> and V extension, or RVV, is based on dedicated scalar vector register, and application is for high data rate computation, such as ADAS, AI, high performance computing, video, and 5G. And custom extension is to support application requirement beyond any ISA standard can afford, can allow. So it can uh, serve domain specific acceleration to achieve extreme efficiency. Let's take a closer look at and it's called V5 process layout. <laughs> we have 25 series and 27 series on our five stage pipeline. And we also have 45 series, which is super scalar, eight stage pipeline. The order series has various category from embedded control with integrated folding point all the way to application processing with multi core running SMP Linux. And this is focused on acceleration uh, solution to put in, in RISC V. <clears throat> well, the first one <clears throat> to release RISC V call with RVP in the D25F, and also the first one to release RVV call, which is an X27V. <laughs> and all the endless call are ready with ACE or any custom extension which allow custom to adding instruction for acceleration, which we'll talk about more later. RVP extension <coughs> has a rich semantics on SIMD and reduction SIMD instruction uh, operating on 8-bit and 16-bit data. Uh, here is an example uh, doing a a bit by a bit multiplication is accumulating to 32 bit. And uh, RBP also has several flavor of different type, such as signed and unsigned <coughs> operation, saturation and rounding, and top and bottom cross multiplication, and 32 bit and 64 bit profile. In addition to a spec, in GitHub, there are quite a few resources for you to get started. And RVP is fully supported by IR embedded workbench. So how are RVP performed? <clears throat> As we can see, uh, it has quite good speed up for DSP library, uh, MP3 decoder, as a standard for the uh, audio decoder and voice codec, as well as uh, neural net computation, such as person detection, keyword spotting, image clarification, and object detection. The image clarification, CIFA 10, can go up to uh, 14x speed up. So compared to the popular DSP, uh, M4 and M7, uh, D25F, which is uh, RB32P, has 3x speed up over M4. While the 64 bit uh, RVP in uh, AX25 reach almost 4x speed up over M4. While the, the dual issue M7 only get 20% higher, higher performance than, than M4. Next, let's look at NX27 V with RVD. It comes with an efficient scalar unit, which is five stage pipeline and Memboost memory subsystem, which support now blocking memory access and prefetch. And it has a powerful VPU, vector processing unit, which support 
RBV standard data type, including INT8 to INT64 and FP16 to FP64. And also in this extended format, including BFLOW16 and INT4. And X27 has configuration of first for width uh, for VLAN, SIMD, and memory paths. That is from 128 to 56 to 512 bits. RBV instruction start actual execution after they are retired. And they are executed in one of the parallel functional units, which are mostly fully pipelined and trainable <coughs> among them. And here's an example of a tight loop of a sequence of dependent instruction from integer add to 14 point convert and 14 point Mac. As you can see from the, the diagram, uh, each instruction are busy every cycle with a SIMD executed there. <coughs> and since FMAC is counted as two ops, so this tight loop can sustain four SIMD ops per cycle. So if you are interested in further detail of RBV, I highly recommend you to check out the YouTube video, risc 5 Vector Extension Demescaring, which is a three hour tutorial by this member for last risc 5 Summit. Let's look at the worst case frequency. Um, an X27V can run at worst case, 1.2 gigahertz at seven nanometer, and this is with all 512 bits VPU configuration, including VLAN, SIMD, and memory, and with uh, ELAN equal to 32. And it also has a full scalar configuration. Uh, for MobileNet V1 running by P16, NX27V with 512 bits SIMD <coughs> can perform at 53 million cycle per image, while a uh, four core A53 with 128 bits neon on each core perform only 273 mi million cycle per image. So NX27B achieve five, over 5x speed up. NX27B also has a complete tool support, including LLVM, with coming auto vectorization, open CL, and also the vector for a general arithmetic vector computation, and DivNN for neural net, a common operator. And there's also Andis Karate, which is a very good, very powerful pipeline visualizer, help you to observe the uh, pipeline execution uh, for, the, for your inner loop for optimization purpose. And then there's the end custom extension. <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, what is end custom extension? It's a framework <coughs> allow user to design scalar instruction and memory to memory vector instruction. And the instruction operand can be a standard operand such as immediate and integer register. And user can also define custom register, custom memory, and custom port, and use them as uh, additional operands. And with the design file <coughs> sent to Copilot tool, it can automatically generate all the required tools and simulator and CPU RTL. And uh, Copilot can automatically generate uh, various RTL uh, which should uh, handle housekeeping work, such as instruction decoding, open mapping, uh, dependency checking, and input access and output updates. So user can user only need to focus on the instruction uh, functionality without worry about CPU pipeline. So uh, ACE can be used to extend uh, both RVP and R. Uh, RVV functionality. <coughs> Let's look at the previous instruction <coughs> as an example, which doing A B multiplication and accumulate into 32 bits. In a bigger scope, 
one actually need to load a two register and do the arithmetic operation and then increment uh, the a pointer of that address and then do that in the loop. So that's fine instruction. <clears throat> Let's say you want to further speed it up. So um, what do you do? So you can define uh, two custom register as the address for A and B and define the instruction to do the uh, double load to XY memory and do the arithmetic operation. At the same time, increment the address in the custom register. So uh, find instruction now become one. So <clears throat> there are also common scenario in SOC uh, when there are hardware accelerator present. Uh, usually the hardware in engine will uh, use DMA uh, to move data and it can help to accelerate regular and structured computation such as CNN, motion estimation, and also FFT. Even with uh, such acceleration, uh, almost always pre-processing and post-processing is needed. And for algorithm innovation and evolution, uh, efficient and programmable solution is needed. So <clears throat> usually uh, the pre-processing and post-processing is done by general purpose processor. <clears throat> So both hardware engine and general purpose processor, they communicate through the external bus, which is not quite efficient. So we often uh, hear customers ask us whether we have a solution to allow tightly couple with their hardware engine. So for that, <coughs> our answer for NX27B is a streaming port, which allow to tightly couple NX27V with hardware engine as a, a processing element. So the Y bus provided by um, ASP can allow efficient instruction, dispatch, and also data transfer uh, between uh, the NX27V and hardware engine. And through ASP, the load store can be performed between CPU register, vector register, 40 point register and interior register, and with uh, hardware engines, smart memory, SRAM. So, with the data can move directly into CPU register and X27B, then can directly do in vector processing uh, for a post processing or pre processing. So, in summary, accelerate. Accelerating data processing is getting more and more importance in both edge and cloud. RVP and RVB are both powerful, but they target for different applications with different data rates. And RISC-V custom extension allows the best trade-off between flexibility and efficiency. And this, as a leader for the risc accelerating solution. We offer a fully explored risc potential for data intensive computation. So our solution covers processor with RVP, processor with RVB, and this custom extension framework or custom instruction, as well as all the corresponding software tools. And all the above have been used by many customers. So let's capture the market opportunity together. Thank you.